Hi, welcome to shallwelearn.com. Today, I'm going to show you, or, or I'm going to explain to you, the Hello World project that we created together the last time. So, the best way to me, to um, in my opinion, to understand a, um, a program uh, or a project is to run it in debug mode and see step by step where where the how the program is run. So, we're going to do that today as a way to demonstrate the workflow of this program on the this browser I already got the web I already got the hello world web project running and just like last time if you type in your name type in my name Jessica and hit send it's going to send a request to the server and the server is going to respond back with this with this the with the response in here and the client is just printed it out in a dialog so to better explain this I have a diagram here this shows that the hello world client which is the JavaScript code translated from the Java code in in this client package so and this is the hello world server code which is still in Java and if you can see that the client is running inside the browser, JavaScripts and HTML is running inside of the browser. And if you expand, if you go over to the hello world and expand the war file, the war directory is what gets deployed to the server. And the war file contains hello world.html. This is generated by using the Google plugin. And all these are the web XML is also generated. In the hello world, this directory, the hello world directory, contains the generated JavaScript file. If you double click hello world.nocache.js, this shows the JavaScript that is generated when you do a GWT compile. Now, when you do a GWT compile, I know I'm jumping around, but I just wanted to give a cute, quick um, overview or a recap of what we did last time. So, last time we did a GW, GW, GWT compile. And when you do a GWT compile, you could select the output style. So if you select, by default, it is obfuscated. How mean out here? I can't pronounce this word. By default, is obfuscated, and you can print it with. You can set it to pretty mode. So I set it to pretty mode, and this is what turns out. You can also give it set it to detail mode. With detail mode, it's going to add more details and make it more formatted and make it easier basically easier to read for human of course it, it's um, it's going to take a little bit longer if you set it to the prettier more detail mode and also in the log level by default it's set to info and you can set it to all spams which means so as it go down it means the more of a the more the lower it is the more verbose it is alrighty so I'm gonna I've already compiled so I'm not going to compile again I'm going to hit cancel and we go back to this this project and I want to show you when you when you click something when you enter when you click send what it would do is from the hello world client code so this is hello world client this is the greet service object and this is the greet service implementation info object that runs on the server side as the picture shows, hello world and greet ser greeting service both run on the client side, but the greeting service info runs on the server side. So as you click the send button, what it does is it calls on the client side, it calls a send name to server, and it inside of this method, I'll show you a bit later, it calls the greet greeting service greet server call and here it's job google has a uh, google use a technology called rpc remote procedure call to re relay that call from the client to the server so and then what happens in the server code call greet server at its end and then sends back the response to the greeting service at the client and the greeting service then forward back here to the hello world object through a method called async through a object called async callback and 
dot and you may not be able to see it but it's dot on success so this is a method that gets called this is object this is a method of this object that gets called when the RPC command is successful all this may seems a bit convoluted but if we start debugging it render in debug mode it will make a lot more sense to you let's put the breakpoint following um, this diagram so first of all let's go to hello world and also if you have if you don't already have the outlined window open I suggest you do so here you can see that there is an all module method this is the first method that gets called when your project gets when your web page gets loaded so I already put a breakpoint here on the first line in this method and next we're gonna put a send a breakpoint inside the send name to server now this method is called in the when this button when the uh, hold on a second let me close when this send button is click this send button in the client call is right here the send button so the send button these two lines show that when send button has a click handler of the type my handler and when so when the send buttons click what it's going to happen is we're gonna go back to the my handler definitions you can do a right click and do you can you can click this my handler and on uh, click the on click so this means that if this handle what this handler do is I handle click events and if some if the user click on this button then the handler will handle as such it's going to call the send name to server the same name to server and you can find that in the outline you double click it takes you to send name to server what this would do is it what this portion is doing is it's um, first validating the input and you notice that it's checking for four at least four characters long next it's going to send I'm gonna shrink this over a little it's going to send the input to the server and the text to server is the name so it, you can see that the text to server has been set right here name field is this particular location and then what it would it would do is that it's called a greet greeting service dot greet server this greeting service is the instantiation of greeting service async and it's defined all the way on top right here greeting service is created using gwt dot create and it passes in the greeting service class inside a greeting service class there is a Greeting service class is right this right this one. Greeting service there's a method called greet server. So s the server impul, the greeting service impul that is defined in the server side, in the server side, also implement this greeting service. So if you hover over, this greeting service is of the type com.shallwelearn.client.greeting service so it is extending or implement I'm sorry it's implementing since it's implementing the interface it's implementing the interface that is defined by the client so that way that's how the client and the server can agree on what method is um, supported and so that the client can call that method and that method would then be um, converting to an RPC call and the server would know that the client has to make that call so if we go back to hello world.java and now that we know that the greeting service is created by using GWT create method we scroll back to the bottom so when it was clicked it's going to call when the send button is clicked it's going to call the it's going to call um, the greet server method and when it so it's going to we are right here it's going the greeting service called greet server it convert into RPC method the server size greeting server impul in return also calls greet server so let's click on the greeting server impul there's also a method called greet server so we put a breakpoint here 
then when it returns when it returns the greeting service when it return n was successful the unsuccess method will be called and here the dialog box would be set to remote procedure call and the server response label is going to say server response label error and the body or the response label would have the result htm the html format formatted result which includes the username so this result in the client code is the same as this portion the return value of greet server at the server so it's going to be this portion let's let's check that it is that portion so it's going to say hello plus the name input is the name from the from the client hello something name i am running the server info the server info is obtained using this method get servlet contacts get server in info this is provided by the Java X library and then it's going to also return the user agent which is the client browser information so let's see if it does that click on send it says so it has the title has remote procedure call and the body is hello Jessica the name and then two breakpoint break break I am running this is a server info Google app engine development 1.8.1 this is a server info and it looks like you are running so you have two breakpoint right here two breakpoint and also it looks like you are running a br another breakpoint and also these are the user agent informations this portions the Mozilla this portion is the user agent info so we can cl click close let's put run this in the breakpoint with the run this in debug mode and see if it actually breaks and what we thought it should okay so let's stop this web app and then when you stop it and this, you obviously you get some error GWD code server disconnected that just means the server the jetty server is not running so we can run that again by doing the, the debug us web application and you can see that the jetty is starting to run all right when it finished running and, s and then it was successful you should see a URL showing up in the development mode what you do you can just double click that close this one and I'm going to wait until the first breakpoint is hit so here the breakpoint that I've set for the instantiation of greeting service async is being hit I'm gonna hit continue so I'm just gonna hit continue and it should hit it should stop at the on module load there you go of the hello world dot java hit continue next it should hit the send send name to server well oh, I'm sorry it will not hit anything because we haven't hit the send button yet so let's type in something say um Jimmy okay and hit send when I hit send and then I'm going to hit so it's calling send name to server next it will break at send name to server and right before the greeting service calls greet server right here and when I hit continue it should break at the server code greeting service impulse mm, hit breakpoint again so there you go so here at the greeting service impul it's breaking on this method this is a server side code a step through this it's validating the input and it's okay and if you hover over the input it should say Jimmy there you go 
and then step through each of them so this time the user age the input should be the name Jimmy the user agent should be the browser information as you can see it is and the server info should be the Google app engine development that's right and now that this whole string is what it's going to be returned hit continue this method the on success method of the async callback on gets call just as expected and so the dialog box should pop up momentarily and we get step through so dialog box is call is uh is set to the text of the result and you put your breakpoint if you're hovering over this result should be the full string hello jimmy break blah 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 just as expected finally we're going to hit continue and the pop-up should show there you go and it says hello jimmy and all the response all the result results is as expected i hope by running in debug mode help you understand the the flow the the flow of the a simple gwt project i'll see you next time